Hey, everybody. I am on. Just finished work. Just hopping on. Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit late. But, um... Uh, I'm ready to play some Ludum Dare games. I haven't played any yet. Which is crazy. Because it ended on Monday. But I'm ready to see how everyone tackled the theme of delivery. And we got Space Spy here. Nice. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I like the enthusiasm. Since you're here first, I guess we're playing your game first, right? Hey, Skeffles! Welcome to the stream. How was your day, you guys? A busy Friday? A chill Friday? Mine was a little bit busier. Had to fix a couple things at work. But I'm ready to wind down, play some games. Looks like there were a lot of entries this time. I think one year that I did um, Ludum Dare, like during COVID, there was like over 4,000 entries, which is crazy. I think it's closer to 2,000 this time. So this was the entry that me, Bluepin Studio, and uh, two musicians worked on. Devil Ivory. It's supposed to be punny. <laughs> so original. It's basically just a shooter game where you have to do a little mini quest and bring back the devil, the items that he wants. That was pretty fun. Uh, I am King Games. Long time no see. Hey, welcome. W A Van Rose. Hello. Just phasing. Hey, sup? Good to see you guys here. Even though you're on UK time, I'm assuming it's a bit later, but nice to have you on. I've played it, but I need to see if you're bad at your own game. Okay, I guess I can start with my own game. It's kind of a shameless plug, but it's all good. Might as well. All right. So. It was my first time doing all the artwork and no programming. And I think it was the first time that the two mu musicians did a game jam, which is really cool. Our whole team was Canadian as well, so gotta represent. And um, Victor usually does the programming and construct, and I think it was his first time making like an actual shooter game. The genre is kind of new for him. So we all tackled something new, tried to challenge ourselves in 72 hours, which is cool. Wait, you and Victor are Canadian? Yes! <laughs> we live in the same city, in fact. Alright. Miami. Oh, we got some My Miami representation. Alright. I wouldn't say I'm terrible, but that last level is pretty hard. Bring me items and I will reward you. I crave an item that can weave enchanting tunes without a pluck or a strum. So this is my uh, little devil guy. I tried to be original. It's kind of an original concept. I just thought of him being in like 
maybe the mafia or just like a really rich dude. It gives him more personality, I think. <laughs> but overall, I was not super happy with how this came out. I feel like I could have been more detailed and like, what is this random uh, lighting here? It's kind of weird. But Victor made this come to life with all the particles and the smoke, which is cool. I think I could have like actually animated the image itself, but... Oh! Ah, I always forget. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I always forget to change the screen. Um... Oh, we got people from Holland. I'm going to meet up with Sanderwood someday. Nice. Are you guys... Are you in the UK as well? Uh, Kanda sounds nice, definitely on my bucket list. Yeah, it's alright. We got some major cities, which are nice to explore. Alright, I think the screen's up now. I'm sorry, I always forget to switch the screen. <laughs> so, yeah, could have detailed this guy a little bit more and animated him maybe but overall I, I, w I liked how this character came out so let's do our first quest it's kind of like an arena battle i really wanted to make a roguelite a uh, roguelike um because i've never made one before i don't even play them that much but i started i played a bit of hades which is really fun so I kind of wanted to attempt it, but of course it's pretty hard balancing those. But I feel like this could have been a roguelike, for sure. Generate some random areas. Different enemies, but we didn't have time for that, of course. This little cute character with his glowing eyes. I think Victor did a great job on like the juiciness of everything. So many particle effects, nice feedback, and just like the bullets here sticking to the walls. Thought it was cool. And just movement feels pretty good. I think some people complained about getting stuck stuck in some areas so we'll try to clean that up after the jam um met one of my first game dev friends in real life a month ago hey that's exciting we have like a game dev meetup in our city which is awesome but it only happens like once a month and we haven't done them in a while i think um, this is made in construct? Yeah, it's made in construct. That's, um, Bluepin Studio's, uh, main engine that he uses. So, I crave an item that can weave enchanting tunes without a pluck or a strum. So, it's a little riddle. It's not that hard to get if, like, English is your first language. But, um... I feel like we could have made some more clever riddles. So you present this to him. Let's see what you brought me. So exciting. <laughs> and then you fill up his satisfaction bar. I demand an item that can paint vivid pictures without a single brush. Let's go. Overall feels really good. Yeah, that juiciness. So here we introduce some more variety with the enemies. They all feel pretty fair. I think the third level is where the difficulty apparently ramps up, which I agree with. This 
those eyeballs. I think I could have been more original with the slimes. Kind of basic. I know the aim is a little bit off, so that's something we kind of have to fix as well. Lightly angled. I think some people mentioned that the combat time is a little bit long. I think it's 90 seconds. We, I agree that we could have maybe made it like a minute or just introduced like a set amount of enemies. Um, it does feel a little bit long, so especially when we have the arena part like three times. So that was something that we could have thought about a little bit more. Um, I've not done any in real life game dev events in ages, but I have some software things this year. Oh yeah, conferences. Yeah, those are fun. Meet new people, talk about things you like doing. Uh, wish the background music stopped while the victory music plays. Oh yeah, I noticed there's an overlap, so just, uh, needed some polish there. Uh, it's cool seeing all the art you worked on last week in game. Yeah, it, it's pretty uh, Cool seeing everything come to life little bounces particles This is a little bit too simple when all the candles move exactly the same, but you can't really tell you can probably tell now Now that I said it um, Victor pointed this out. I didn't even realize that the reflections of the candles they're not exactly the same, so they're reflecting the two candle pairs. It makes it a little bit spooky, I think. Um, would be fun if you can evade vertically, not just horizontally. Yeah, we were spitting that out during the jamming period, but we just didn't have time. Because like all of this stuff took some time as well, the satisfaction bar, and like... The combat already felt pretty good, so we're like, okay, let's just leave it as it is. Uh, the bullets look like nerf darts. Yeah, that's what everyone keeps saying. Technically, if you get some metal, you can paint with the magnet. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Multi-use. Are you releasing this game anywhere? No, this was just our Ludum Dare entry. Um, I think we might polish it up and release a post jam version though deno game dino game hello <laughs> welcome to the stream ooh that reflection effect is cool yeah i think uh this was something new he tried for the first time so very nice so back to the boss we go after i pick this up or should i pick up something wrong this time I can show you the wrong condition. Here we go. So it plays a different sound if you didn't get it exactly right. So I feel like we could have done this part better because it still seems like you kind of got it right even though you didn't. We give two points if you brought the similar item. So the paintbrush kind of matched the description of the, the quest. So you get two points, which I don't know if that makes sense. So it still looks like you got something, but you weren't exactly right. You kind of realize at the end of the game how well you did. <clears throat> how did you make the reflection effect? Um, so my teammate did that part. I don't think it was a shader, though. If, uh, if he joins the stream, maybe we can ask him. I didn't get to ask exactly how he implemented it. 
So we got some worms this time. Oh man, this level definitely gets more difficult. <laughs> Too many. Oh boy, 41 more seconds. The good thing is, you don't get damaged directly on hit. So there is some time to run away a little bit. But... Oh my. Ooh. Oh, come on. Three. Ah! We're out of here. No! <laughs> Just wanted to escape. All right, bring me something that will help me orient myself. So basically, this is the item that is completely wrong. It will still give you one point. The glasses is similar to the description, so it'll give you two points. And then compass is the correct answer. Spoiler. Let's see what you brought me. So we got eight points because in round two, we only gave him the similar item. So we didn't really communicate that well to the player. Could have been better, but does the job. All right, enough of this game. On to some of the other entries. So I guess we can play Space Spy, uh, your game next. And if anyone else here, I don't know if you guys participated, just let me know the game name, and I will find it. Um, wouldn't have been a shader because I uh, use Construct. Okay, yeah, so I guess you can't use shaders in Construct. All right, now I gotta find your game. I know it was about a pigeon and a package. How do I search games on here? Can't even remember. I think you commented on ours. Yeah. All right. Um. Okay. Patty's got. Well, the name is Patty's Port. Portage. Okay. Patty's got a very special package to deliver. Only problem being the location is in a robotic city. Help him sneak through with the help of his trusty crate and see what's inside. So controls, WASD, XA to jump. Oh, X to glide. Or A to glide. Okay. Wait, I have to read this part properly <laughs> i think it's space to jump and glide x uh to grab and throw and then shift or c to scope out of level okay let's do this oh yeah the vibe i like it the art very clean Oh, nice. You got tutorial in here. I didn't have to read that description. Nice. So that's the glide. Hold X and aim with... Turn up the music a little bit. 
sure. Or it's a little bit loud here. Let me know if that's okay. doing this gliding thing properly. Wait a second, what was a glide? Space? Oh. Oh, double tap. Okay, I got it. scope the level, see what you have to do. Alright, so it's like a little puzzle game, almost. Cube. Very nice. Oops. Uh, some hot flappy bird vibes, but grounded. <laughs> Just double tap, yep. Makes me want to sip tea with my pinky up. Nice. Wait, how do, how do I trigger the aim again? See? No. I have short term memory or something. this that far? Or do I need to get it on the red? I'm really sure. Oh yeah. Shield with the box. Alright, we got some lasers. Cool. 
clearly on a mission here with this music. All right, where to? up. Oh, man. This is really cool, though. It's just my aim kind of sucks. Oh. I guess I didn't run away in time. The, uh, the level design. This is really good. Oh, come on. Solid entry. And I love the art. Really nice palette. Where's the switchy switch? Hmm? Oh, the tube. I forgot. safe spot? The feathers remain on the ground when you die? Yeah. It's kind of funny. Alright, apparently I got hit last time. just going like way too fast and I was coming at it pretty fast too. Woo! Oh no. hit there.
Great job, Space Buy. Cool game. Yeah, this is awesome. Really nice work on the level design and the programming. And just like, good team effort all around. All parts are amazing. Gotta get that timing right. Please tell me there is a post office at the end when you win. Yeah, where are we taking this? Who knows? Lasers come at you real fast. Whoa. Okay, I definitely got lucky there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I gotta sacrifice my box. for the laser. Right? I might have to give up my box like while the laser is to the left of me. enough skill for this. <gasps> oh my god. You're on the right track. Maybe. Oh my goodness. Last level? Okay. It's allowed to be this hard then. Need my box. Let's see. I can't jump high enough. Oh, I'm pretty sure I have to do it. I'm just not quick. I don't know if I can do this. 
Moderator JPG reporting for duty. Hey, are you winning, son? <laughs> well, you came at a bad time. Do you need it the entire time? I just need it for the laser. Oops. We gotta beat this level, come on. I can't throw fast enough halfway through. You need it for the laser, that's factual, but is there a point where you can re-pick up the box? Got this, don't give up. Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe pick it up halfway through. Just time it right. <laughs> I panicked. I panicked. But I think that was the right idea. <laughs> I just didn't press X fast enough. Come on. that right uh, did someone say they wanted their game played I will get back to you but you can go next just let me know the game name to jump. My reflexes on this game are not good. Or maybe in general.
That took me way too many tries. All right. Oh yeah, there was the solution. I'm glad that was like the last part. Now I feel happy that I passed it. That was awesome, I really liked it. Really nice puzzles, good variety, good level, a uh, level of difficulty ramp up, which is good. Overall, amazing. There you go. Uh, work team chat, yeah. <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, don't they know it's Friday? Yeah. I mean, I think I have to push something. I'll do it after this. Um, so someone wanted to give me a virtual hug if I played their game. <laughs> yeah, just uh, drop the name. I don't think uh, the links are sending. Or are you joining the Discord? You can just drop the link wherever. Rate to boost the algorithm. I don't want to rate it in front of everybody. I'll do it on my own time, but I'll keep it here. Okay, perfect. We got the link. Yeah. Amazing job, team, on this game. Space Spy and team. What's next? Rocket fast delivery. Alright. Oh. Compo? Or... Oh, jam game. You got your source code here. Very nice. Here's a download. Don't I have to? Unity game. Awesome. Deliver the pizzas to the right doors based on color. Make sure you deliver them in the provided order. Use your self-defense rocket launcher to destroy the robots or avoid them with rocket jumping. Okay, we got pizzas. We got rocket launchers. We got robots. Spend money on upgrades to last as long as possible. Remember, if you deliver on time, you get tipped extra cash. So this is like pizza delivery to the next level. Oh, and it's a first person game. Didn't expect that. Oh yeah. Ooh. <clears throat> I'm a very short person, it seems. Press the button to start the next wave. What button? Is there a button here somewhere? That's a door. Mm -hmm. Oh. Press E to pick up the food. Is this my pizza? Delivery time. Wave's gonna start in three seconds. Cool. I'm just trying to be, I'm just trying to deliver pizza here. Come on. 
No need for robots. Nice FPS. Uh oh. No more ammo. Also, I was supposed to deliver this. Forgot about that. E. Unless I lost. Did I? Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, I don't think I could do compo. There is something weird about posting source code for personal engine stuff. Oh, yes. That is weird. I mean, you probably don't want to put that up, right? Pizza and robots sounds like a party. Pizza time. Deliver it quick, otherwise they get it free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I forgot about the delivery part. And what is this? Oh. Okay. I mean, can I just deliver it right away? I have to wait. Oh, it's red, the door. I'm coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said match it to the color. I forgot. Where's the robots? Guess I'm just too fast. Alright, press button to start the next wave. We're on wave four already? I didn't see any robots. And now I gotta find a green door. Hello? There's another red door here, too. Hmm. Interesting. Uh-oh. Here they come. <laughs> I like the little 404 uh, thing. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Might be uh since a dead end. Uh oh, am I stuck? Oh I killed zero robots. Is that true? Um just got here. What is this game? It's one of the Ludum Dare entries by Energy Man? I think it was you. How did I kill zero robots? Oh, red. Uh, robots were supposed to be faster. Yeah, I guess it took them a little time to uh, get down from their home base, which is like up here somewhere. <laughs> Are they coming from here? They're like taking the ramp down. <clears throat> Um, sometimes break some people's PCs for whatever reason. Oh, I see. No background music. That would have been awesome to have like an epic orchestra instrumental playing while you blow up the robots. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess we can put, let me see if I can put some. I mean, I have some royalty free music open. Let's see if any of this is epic. There we go. That's not epic enough. 
Ah, it shall do. This music is too chill for this intensity. red right now oh hey Seth hope the stream is going well yeah it's going pretty good I'm just butchering everyone's games by playing them wrong I didn't really use my money either let me try to use it this time Yeah, I like the, uh, the really open type of area. And the objective's pretty nice, too. Delivering the right pizza boxes. Maybe, like, randomizing where the doors are could be cool, because right now I know where red and blue are, right? So it's, like, obvious. Maybe you can switch up the colors each time. Did I take the red one or the blue one? using some monies. Yeah, let's get... Oh, rocket? Yeah, let's do that. How do I use the rocket, though? Shift? Deliver in the order you got down on your screen. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Green door. Also, shouldn't waste my ammo. Ah! They all bombard you at once. Okay. Okay. Where are the green door at? I don't think I saw it yet. Hello? Don't see it anywhere. Oh, there it is. disappeared. Not that I'm complaining. Oh, yeah, because the wave finished. Get these tables out of here. Okay. Okay. Now that you said the thing about the order, that definitely makes things more interesting.
we out of ammo? Yeah, we are. How do you, um... How do you get more ammo? And how do you use the rocket? I didn't get to really use that properly, I don't think. Oh my god. I think it's lagging a bit. <laughs> Too many enemies. Too many enemies. What a view. That was my sister. Sorry about that. Alright. Oh, the rockets are the ammo? Makes sense. Alright. That's about it from this one then. What was the highest wave that you've got? You got like 11? I only made it to six. Not good enough. AI is really slow on weaker CPUs. Yeah, I think uh, too many were spawning at that point. Very nice job, team. Good. That was fun. Don't usually get to play... Uh... Don't usually get to play... Uh... FPS during jam games, right? So, always a nice experience. So I will rate it on my own time. Thanks a lot for playing, no problem. Thanks for joining the stream. Um, oops, that was your source code. Anyone else in the stream have games to play, or should I pick random ones, maybe? Um, this is sorted by smart. Random game? Yeah, I don't think anyone else is really here. Not too many people I know joined the jam this time. All right. Should we... I guess we'll just stick to this. Anything that stands out here that you guys want to see played? This looks kind of interesting. I think uh, my teammate played most of the games that commented on our um, on our game, so and I watched him play it, so I probably won't play uh, those ones again. There is there was a Chat GPT AI one that I kind of wanted to try though. You guys want to see that one? It's pretty funny. I thought the concept was cool. Don't remember whose game it was. One of these first ones, I believe. Oops. Any of these? Hmm. I don't know if I can find it. Um. Oh, I wish I had a game. Maybe look for people you know. Oh, um, wasn't Seth here? I think he, uh, submitted something. I might have already played it, though. I think it was the baby game. What's going on here? internet slow? Hopefully not. Is it the website? Is everyone out here playing games tonight? Oh. Oh yeah, there it is. 
This was cool too. Um, I guess we can try this. So basically, it's <clears throat> you talk to like the customer, the unsatisfied customer, and try to like you know come to a conclusion here. So I've never actually done a customer service job, so this... I don't know if I'll be good at this. Uh-oh. Yeah, I gotta clear out my computer. Cherno game? Was that something else? Oh, uh, the YouTuber? Did he submit something? I think he did. I might have seen some of the live streams. Let's give this try. Give this a try. Oh, there's even a leaderboard. This is not gonna be good, guys. This is Rebel. What's with this pasta, mate? It looks like it's been through a tornado. And the meatballs look like they've been squished already. What's the deal? So, you have to answer as you would um, doing customer service. So, did I take too long? Hey, you. You think it's polite to ignore me? I won't let you leave until you fix it. So, it's, run, it's powered by ChatGPT, which is awesome. Were you in a rush or something? I'm sorry for getting your order wrong. All right, I'll give you another chance to explain. What happened to my food? Why does it look like it's been through a war zone? The chef is kind of new, so he doesn't really know what he's doing. Oh, come on. <laughs> the chef doesn't know what he's doing. You expect me to It's so this? funny because you can't predict what they're going to say. I'm not paying for this garbage. You can take it back and bring me a proper meal right now. Oh my gosh, so harsh. I'll bring you a proper meal right away. Well, is there anything you would like on it? Alright then, you better bring me a proper meal because I'm starving here. And next time, make sure your chef knows how to cook. I appreciate your honesty and willingness to make it right. Here's ten extra dollars for your trouble. Now go on, I'll be waiting for my food. My god, I would have, uh, lost if I lost that one yeah, round. thank you for bringing the food. But what is this little Ristavo? It doesn't sound like something I would eat. Did you bring the wrong meal? Uh, I think that's the right meal. You're kinda wrong. See what they say. <laughs> Excuse me. What do you mean by kind of that? Are you trying to insult me? This is definitely not what I ordered. I demand for the correct meal right now. This was your right meal. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is not what I would do, guys. Are you playing some kind of joke on me? How dare you lie to my face? I know what I ordered, and this is definitely not it. I demand to speak to your manager right now. Oh, hey, Axel. What is this? It's a game powered by ChatGPT. Oops. Too Excuse long. Excuse me. Did you just ignore me? You cannot just walk away without fixing the issue. Come back here and face me like a professional. I'm sorry, I think we got your order wrong. We'll bring your right order out. Finally, some accountability. I appreciate your willingness to fix the mistake. Please bring me the correct order as soon as possible. It's coming right away. Don't you worry. <laughs> this is Thank too you for resolving easy. the issue so quickly. I appreciate your prompt action. Here's a tip for your good service. Have a good day. Interesting that it can also give emotions and okay, tags like thank that. You for the but this yeah, I wonder if it was to supposed to be parsed. It's not what I ordered. Can you please explain? Carrot cake looks strange. Oh. Do you not like carrots? Woof woof. It's not about liking it or not. I ordered a carrot cake, but this seems to be 
here for cake. The texture is different, and it doesn't have the distinct carrot flavor that I was looking for. Can you please double-check the order? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll double-check the order right away. Which cake would you like? Thank you for your prompt action. I appreciate it. I would like the carrot cake, please. And if it's not too much trouble, could you make sure it's freshly baked? I really crave the warm and fluffy texture so of a freshly picky. baked carrot cake. I'm the manager. Yeah, that's what I should say. <laughs> we don't have freshly baked cake here. They're all frozen. Woof woof, I see. The cat that's woofs. Moment, but I understand. <laughs> In that case, could you please heat up the cake before delivery? It would not be as good as freshly baked cake, but at least it would be warm and not frozen. Can you do that for me, please? Okay, they actually understand. Yeah, I can do that. We'll bring you your carrot cake right away. Thank you very much for your cooperation. I appreciate your help. It's pretty easy to, like, appease day, them. Woof, woof. After, like, a round or two. As long as you're not, like, actually rude. You can purposely... Sure. Pretty sure I'm not on the leaderboard with that. Yeah, that, that's a really cool little game. Very unique. And uses our new technology. I thought it was cool. Especially since you can use your mic input as well. More interactable. So, that's a cool one. Um, okay, we can do random ones now. Um, let's see. This life supply one looked interesting. Oh, there's no description or anything. We didn't finish it? No, they just had a good cover photo. Um, let's see. Paint me a color. It's too hard choosing random games because I'm not sure. I would like to play like the uh, higher ranked ones as well. Most ratings. We'll just do smart. We'll do that one. This looks interesting. This looks cool. You never know with the cover photos though. Would you play a game that had AI-powered bots that you can't distinguish from players? Ooh. I don't know. As long as you know that they're AI, it's fine, right? How long are you going to stream today? Maybe like another hour? I'm not planning to do too much. Especially if uh, there's not too many people in chat that want their games played. Seems like nobody did loot him dare this time. Okay. Should we try this? So this is flight dispatch. Um, okay. Login using your credentials. Am I supposed to use this? Are you looking for a chill job with a good salary? Look no further because Zonmi Inc. is hiring. We're seeking passionate individuals who are eager to learn and grow in a work environment full of opportunities. Okay. Some kind of simulator thing. Uh, oh, what did I do? Elon Musk. <laughs> Amazing. Welcome to Zonmi Inc. Engineer. We are a multinational delivery company committed to providing exceptional service to our customers. Our mission is to ensure that every package we deliver arrives on time and in perfect condition no matter where it's going. 
At Zonmi, we value teamwork, integrity, and dedication to excellence. We're thrilled to have you join our team and look forward to building a strong relationship with you. Hi. Well, who are you again? Those are my options. Hi. Today is your first day as a trainee. Don't worry you don't, if you don't know anything yet. Take your time to learn everything about our system. And if you have any questions, ask Lara. She's our friendly luck <laughs> bot. And she's always happy to help. Okay. Ooh, this is cool. Hi, I'm Lara. I'm just a bot and I don't have time for nonsense. But if you have questions, okay. your first day as a drone engineer yep okay all right this is just like a simulation type of game shall we open it this is cool it's like actually simulates a pretty good desktop all the icons what are we doing here I've added, I've added Eagle to your fleet. You should be able to see it on the map now. This thing? Let's see if you can actually control your drone. You should see it in the files window. Move a drone to a specific location. Sure. Drop the item. A drone is carrying, list locations, list all items in a location. Okay, am I supposed to know this? I already opened it too. <laughs> okay. Not really sure what to do from here. So move a drone. What are the controls exactly though? Oh, she's sending me more stuff. There you go. Oh no, don't tell me I have to. Drone LS. It's too many windows. Good, you can see the list of drones under your control. In this case, it's just Eagle. All right, so we got information about our drone. Um, write drone MV, then the drone name. Oh man. Yeah, they got you writing console commands. This is not what I wanna be doing right now. Drone. Um, B, Eagle. Do I have to put in coordinates? Let's do 50 50 then. Da da. Move in. What? Trying to move it outside will result in an error and will fire you. <laughs> Just joking. Take a look at the map. Um, registered a few locations of interest to see a list of all the locations. Use the location LS. Okay, we gotta take him there. So hopefully we get some coordinates here. Move eagle to HQ. Okay, yeah, that's what we were doing. Boom. Oh, we gotta go all the way back. Chop, 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 chop. Remember to move a drone. Yeah. <clears throat> this is like a whole 
job application here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Uh, now that your drone is at HQ, you might want to take a look at what items we have in stock. Item LS to list all items in particular location. Oh my goodness. Items LS. Item LS? Hmm? Oh, location. HQ. Items LS HQ. Ah. Uh. I like how responsive it is. Now what? <laughs> the option was Lara's mean. Battle cat, hey. What's up? Hey peeps. How you doing? Haven't chatted with you in a while. Are you working on anything? Any projects? Uh, is it just me finding that CRT effect dizzy? Yeah, it's in the background here. Oh, or do you mean, oh, the entire thing? Yeah. Uh oh, what did I do? No. Did it freeze? I think it kind of froze. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh man, this is too much work. Zone me requirements should be should be in your desktop. Okay, there it is. Too many windows. Come on. So uh, do 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 do. So grab some eight. Grab some HQ with Eagle using drone pickup. Oh man, I gotta let my cat in. One second. So many command prompts though. Uh, just checking out what you guys are doing. Unfortunately, it's 1 a.m. here, so not staying. Oh, no problem, but thanks for dropping by. Did you participate in um, Ludum Dare this time? I know you sometimes do, right? Oh my, this is too much work. Location. I like the idea of it, but... Drone MV... I'm already at HQ. Drone pick up eagle sugar. Drone. We'll do it once just to see what it's like. All right, we picked up sugar. Then we move it to the cotton factory. Okay, let's go to drone. Move eagle to the cotton factory. 39, 60. All right, do I have to wait? Don't tell me I have to wait. <clears throat> Just 1 a.m., you can hang for another four hours. Oh, so many night owls here, huh? My bedtime's pretty late, too, unfortunately. I really wanted to, but I've been too busy with promotion of a new single, hopefully next time. Ooh, did you already release it? Definitely not, let us know what it's called. We'll check it out. All right, I must be there by now. I mean, I probably could have done it earlier. Drone. 
drop eagle. Drone drop eagle. Isn't that what I did? Drone. Oh, it's not at a location. Thirty-nine sixty. No. Seems like it's there. Drone. Drop. Sugar. Okay, maybe not. Grab some from HQ with Eagle using drone pickup. Eagle sugar. Drone. Drop. Eagle. I feel like it might be drone drop eagle sugar. No. I don't know why it's not working. Drop. Strange. Oh, 38. It should be 39. Drone M V Eagle 39. 60. Just one unit off. Drone drop eagle. There we go. Let's blame the waving effect that I can't read. It's out on May 12th, has music video and everything. Oh man. This is gonna be good. I'll be sure to do some shameless self-promotion on your Discord. Yes, please do. I'm ready to hear it. A new order arrived. Let's see if you can fulfill this one. Okay, I think I got the idea of the game. It's pretty cool, and I really love the the art and how it looks, and just how it's a desktop simulator. Very cool. And it had a lot going on, too. That was cool. That was a good game to choose by random. Solid entry. This looks pretty interesting as well. Give it a try. Um, I'm not gonna lie, my night owl days ended long ago. Yeah. I cannot stay up too late. Like, past... Even 3 a.m. is pretty late for me, but I do it sometimes. But if I stay past 3 a.m., I'm kind of busted for the rest of the week. All right, lots of buttons here. Uh-oh. What is this, Tetris? What are the different buttons? Let's see. Oh, this one has to face upwards. Three AM. I don't even touch past midnight. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I guess I'm doing okay right now, then. Better than... My body hasn't given up on me completely. Okay. I can't throw things out because I don't have money? How does that make sense? Okay, I'm guessing gas is $400, so we need to at least make $400. Okay, this is how you rotate things. So right now we're at 35. I'm the early bird who catches the worm. I wake up at 
3 a.m. to 4 a.m. What the? That's so early. I love staying up late, but my body punishes me if I do it. I feel old. Yeah, it's starting to hit me too. We gotta maximize shipments. I'm only at 95 here. Is it just small, medium, big? That's what it seems like. Small. Um, if you make less than zero, I guess you lose. Summon packages, discard packages, comes at a cost. Okay. I think we were on the right track. Start with some big and medium sized packages. Oh, yeah, you can't rotate the ones with the arrows because it's, like, fragile, I guess. The side up. Let's see if we can... One little gap, that's fine. No! Uh-oh. Can't do anything with this. Let's do medium. No more monies? Only small packages. All right. We didn't do great. Is it just me or do these LD games seem really polished? They are, right? Very impressive. These tricky ones. It seems like all the small ones are usually just two. Uh oh. Spoke too soon. No! It's fine. Perfect. Oh, this might be our best one. Excuse me. Alright, this should be our last round. This is really cool, though. Little puzzle game. On your Discord, it's game developers who link up and share ideas and discuss things. Yeah, pretty much. We're all just devs uh, working on our own projects usually. Um, just share resources, talk to each other about our games. There's a channel for um, just like a daily dev challenge where you try to work on your project every day. 
just to keep your motivation levels up and stuff. And then we also do monthly jams if you want something fresh each month. So I just give you a theme and you can make anything you want. New. So definitely like a bunch of things happening there. All right, cool. This is awesome. Really like the aesthetic of it. The truck almost blends into the background though, but you can definitely tell what it is. I liked it. This was cool. Made in Godot. Very cool. That was a warehouse tycoon. Um, Mars delivery program. Should we try this? Looks like a hefty, a hefty one. What is this? Unreal? Could be. Let's try it. Kind of out of space though, on my computer. Oh, it's in the browser. Net. Oh, Unity. I'd love to join and check it out. Yeah, there's um, there should be a link on my channel somewhere. Um, or if you go to one of my videos, it should be in the description. I don't think I put it in. I should put it in the description of this video, but I forgot. I just got back on the daily logs. <laughs> nice. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yeah, I mean, you're not forced to do it like every day, but whenever you have time, just try to work on it a little bit. Only if you want to um, kind of get in a routine of working on your stuff. This looks cool. Welcome to the Mars Delivery Program. Our mission is to provide efficient and reliable delivery services to customers across the Martian surface. As a member of our team, you will be responsible for ensuring timely and safe delivery of packages to their intended destinations. Oh yeah. I really like how this looks. They gave it some depth of field here and everything just blends in pretty good. I made a space game before. This is what I wish it looked like. Awesome. Was that correct? We've got a whole bunch of things here. Looks like it's color coded again. Seems like I just delivered the green, right? I think I need to go find some other packages. The daily logs got me into the hundred dames. Uh, 100 days of game dev, although looking back, that was quite a lot. Yeah, Scaffold's finished it, I think. Which is awesome. I think it's a pretty cool little challenge. Uh, please proceed to the launch pad to find... Ugh. Didn't get to finish reading that. Where's the launch pad? Wasn't it here? Love the style. The perspective almost gives it a toy-like quality. Yeah, true. That's exactly how it looks. Where's the launch pad? I thought that was the launch pad. Is it the same space assets from Kenny? I don't think so, because I don't recognize what... They're going to give us a driving mechanic right now? That is cool. This looks really good. What on earth? I would love to see a game like this. Like, a full-fledged game. Where are we? Where's all my... Do I need to read some instructions? Hmm. I 
don't see any other boxes. Uh, oh yeah, see you, Laser Knot. Thanks for dropping by. Where are all the boxes at? In my opinion, my desire to make progress in the challenge made me skip corners, and I have been refactoring the code. <laughs> I guess that's the drawback, because you're like forcing yourself to do something every day, even if it's good or bad. I don't know. A trade-off, perhaps? Um, then again, the challenge gave me that boost, so maybe I have a better view of it. Mm. Right. This game looks great. It does. I can't find any boxes, though. Come on. I mean, I drove all the way here. I shouldn't have to go back. <clears throat> Maybe we have to keep driving. There is a, a launch pad kind of thing. Maybe we have to look for a blue box or something. My car is stuck. What do I do? No. Oh, Let me back it up a little. The terrain's a little bumpy, so maybe it is possible to get stuck. We're gonna need backup here. I need a tow truck. Aw oh, man. Don't tell me I have to restart. Love the... Love the vibe of this. Very atmospheric. Okay, maybe I should restart. <clears throat> okay. I'll give it one more try. If I'm too slow at getting to the places, then... Interesting. I mean, this box was so clear to see. How come all the other boxes are so hidden? Please proceed to the launch pad to find delivery service. This, uh... You can't lead me right to this and then tell me it's not the delivery or the launch pad. Oh, we cannot get stuck there again. Have any idea? Maybe I 
just went the wrong way. felt like the obvious way to go was through the, uh, through the middle, but I guess not. I mean, I guess it forces you to explore a little bit. How many can I take with me? A little bit hard to control these guys. Maybe, um, controller support or something would have been easier. Okay. Let's just do these for now. Let the half of them fall off. Knocking half of these off. This car is too light. Okay, that's enough. Go. <laughs> oh no. What's the point of this car? Got no trunk. I mean, is there controller support? I don't think so, because they didn't say it. Should I try? Got this Xbox controller. Oh! Seems there might be. Gotta figure out what the controls are, though. I'm assuming... It could be that the movement was just built in for controller. Especially if they didn't say. It's fine. How am I supposed to drive without dropping this? That takes another skill. Three point turn. Feeling a little boxed in. Very punny. Where am I taking this? Who knows. Is that a power line showing you what connects to where? Is it? Did I skip something? Wait, did I need a blue one for this? Can the boxes fall off if you drive? Yeah, it, it dropped off even when I hit the car, like, slightly. That's why I was very confused. Man, I brought all the colors except blue. Well, I didn't bring green either, but I needed blue. Uh, never thought there would be streetlights on other planets, right? Hey, they're high tech, okay? Feels like it has real potential. Yeah, for sure. I'm just like not super clear on 
what to do. I think it's just bringing the right colors, which is my bad. But I really like the aesthetic of this. Was I supposed to bring all the blues? Or? Um. Oh, hey, Kev. Love the vibe of this one. Yeah, it's missing aliens. Tuned in at the right time. Ah, come on. Why does it do that? I think it's because it's on this ramp area, I think. It would be nice if, like, This part wasn't as tedious, but making it snap. Why do you do this to me? I don't even know why it does that. It's like when I hit the the car. Okay, let's just take these. Let's see what happens. Are you serious? Definitely has potential. Definitely has potential. There's just a few things in there that make it a little frustrating. Reminds me of Astroneer and Foxhole combined. We only needed two. Maybe you are the alien. That's true. You never know what's behind that helmet. Those box colliders are sensitive on that vehicle. Yeah. Okay, where to, people? Since none of these were necessary. Hey, it's still saying one out of two for blues? Oh, there we go. Alright, let's go find the other. If only these were a little bit easier to pick up. Killing me. Okay. There we go. Who wants to see my reverse driving? <laughs> Too lazy to turn. I don't do this in real life, don't worry. I don't <clears throat> I don't think I've ever done vehicle physics before. Yeah, me neither. Does seem fun. I mean, if you make one of those like this car right now reminds me of those like monster trucks. Oh my goodness. Where it's just like smashing into each other, turning around, but like still fine. Gosh, my head is in this vehicle right now. And I might be stuck. Don't tell me I'm stuck. No. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Other, other than like the couple bugs in here, this was really cool. I couldn't find the other launch pads either. But I'm sure if I explored around, it would have been fine. Yeah. 
I've become one with the vehicle. I think you got enough out of it, yeah. Definitely got a feel for the game and like what the objective was, so I think it's fine. This was really, really cool. Oh, I love this. Little blurred out guy looking at the space launcher, rocket launcher. Very cool. <laughs> You're not getting that box that went past the imaginary wall. Yeah, not happening. Oh! Okay. I guess I got out of the vehicle. But I think that's enough for now. Nice. Okay, that was a good random selection again. I usually just go by the cover photo, so... That's the best marketing tactic, right? Your steam capsule is the number one important thing. I think Victor played this one, which is which looked pretty funny. What else do we have here? I think we were going to do this one. Lots of 3D games this time. I mean, maybe I just didn't play enough. How come no one's playing these ones? Maybe we'll come back to it then. Do do do. We'll play a couple more and then call it a day, I think. How long have I been streaming? Two and a half? Oh my goodness. Time always flies. I also gotta finish a couple work things before I work on my game. So we'll play like one or two more. I'll have to rate these. Ooh, this looks interesting. The blind pig. This one looks all right too. Okay, let's do it. Oh yeah, this looks really good. Okay. Links, link, link, link. Oh, another download. I got a clear space on my hard drive. I'm off, have a good stream and evening folks. Yep, see you scaffolds. Uh, no, I really wanted to play this, but my Storage has been failing me lately. Is it not online? Let's see if I can quickly clear some space. Uh, not much to delete. Okay, it's fine. Let's do this one. Winter Factory. No one's doing web builds. How much storage does your PC have? Like, two terabytes plus an SSD, which is very small. I just have so many like videos and pictures. Move the toy tube above the box, press a button with a needed toy, choose wrapping paper and pull it on the box at a ribbon. Very fun. 
Okay. So that's... Oh. Bobby wants a rocket. So this is like a Christmas style gifting game. You gotta do everything on time though. I like the art. Da -da -da -da. Press a button with the needed toy. Choose. I guess it doesn't matter. There we go. Uh, I have like 256 and I don't go over it. Are you serious? Robot. I missed. I just have so many like video recordings and then I use my camera a bunch. So I save those on my PC, which is probably not ideal. I do have an external drive, but... Too much work. Micro David, hey! How's it going? Okay, I totally lost this. Super polished again. It could have been more like fast paced, maybe, but the art style looks really cool. A fun little game. I guess it's not gonna restart for me. That's cool. Winter Factory. Oh, I've really wanted to play this because it looks so cool. Uh, let's see. Garçon. I think that means boy in French. You just got a job as a lobby boy in the best hotel in the area. Now you have a week to prove that you are worthy. I don't think it's going to download either. Yeah. Got to clear some stuff out. I have a 4 terabyte external storage. And whoa. I've only used like 10% of capacity though. <laughs> I wish that was me. I don't know where my stuff is filling up from because I don't even have that many games on my co computer anymore. That's as far as I know. Oh, I want to play this after. So it's mostly just my videos, photos, stuff like that. I'm sure. Okay, one more and I'll call it a day. I would like to work on my game tonight for sure I have so many things I want to finish Let's see anything stand out to anyone this looks interesting there's some really impressive compo games sometimes like whenever you look at the the winner it's always like very very impressive what one person can do um good going good just relaxing as i learn new engines very nice cool i haven't really heard of those engines before okay last one Let's see. This looks cute. Yeah, let's do this one. Oh, there's so many cute ones this time. Deliver parcels and avoid obstacles. Oh, it's a runner.
that one. Short and simple, but does it well. Let's see. Ah. Okay, that might be it for today then. I feel like I didn't play as many games. Maybe because there's not too many people in chat who wanted their games played. But we knocked off a couple, which is good. I just have to go in and rate them. The more you rate, the more karma you get for like your game. So then it pushes it more to other people. That's how this system works. Um, same scooter hit you twice. Ouch. Yeah, I didn't know how to jump over it. All the games have been pretty cool. I'm very impressed. Yeah, some, a lot of talent at, at Ludum Dare. Always impressive. And like, especially the compo, like solo developers go all out on their games. Um, I still need to play yours. Oh yeah, definitely check it out. I don't think it'll take too long. Maybe a good five to ten minutes. I uh, should have submitted my innovative new card game. <laughs> yes. Definitely not called Solitaire. Yeah, this is cool. I was hoping more people that I knew would have games um, submitted, but it seems like it's... Not too many people did it this time around, which is fine. Oh, wait, there was someone on Twitter who did have a game. Let me pull it up. That will be my last game. Here we go. Almost forgot. You are a thief that steals packages from Airfast Delivery Service. The drone delivers them and you steal them. Okay, that's new. The drone delivers the packages and you got five seconds to steal them. Otherwise, the rightful owners will open the door. Oh, so you're like one of those house package stealers. Before the residents pick up the package, your task is to steal them. Where's number three? Oh, wait. What? This is you. The drone will bring packages to the door. Okay. Yes. Okay, well, let's just try. There's a, that's a lot of text. Is that a cop? How do these boxes even fit in my little bag? Okay, next level. It's like hard to dodge some of these guys. But. So cars can hurt you. Oh my goodness. No! You can't even dodge them, so it's like... What do you do? I want to play the cop in this game. Yeah. That could be fun.
I kind of like the vibe. Very chaotic. Yeah. If there was just a way to, like, kind of dodge... No! Unless I just have to wait for right timing. Which is possible. <laughs> the cops need to lay off the donuts. <laughs> Too slow, huh? Oh, come on. I mean, overall, it's a pretty good entry. Like, you got all the sound effects. All these obstacles and a good objective. Like, how do I even get out of here? Shoo. Guess you have to just be patient. over here so it's been easy. Oop. Oh no. Where'd I go? Oh. Okay, I guess there's a bunch of levels somehow. Not really sure what changes. I think we were on like level four or something. Do, do, do. Oh, the chaos will increase every level, and by the last level, the chaos might be unbearable. Okay, I didn't see too much of a difference, but if they were faster and stuff, then I guess that makes sense. Them being faster kind of cleared my space, I, I realized. Not sure I would pass the first level. It was chaotic. That's what they were going for, and they achieved it, so... I can't say much about it. Um, and I just remembered that... I think I made a post here. Okay, this will be my last one then. Neat entry. Yeah, that was really cool. Chaotic and fun. Just what a game should be. Is this... I thought it was a sound effect, but it might be the song? Eric, clears throat. Hi, welcome to Amaz. Sorry, Ama <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> We're a new company whose motto is... What's the motto? I forgot. Sorry, our motto is the best delivery company is coming your way. Yeah, that's it. We use drones for super quick delivery and we need an operator to fly them. So that's where you come in. All right. Each package has a number, so deliver it to the target with the same number. The target should be clearly marked for you. When you reach the target, place uh, press space while hovering over it to deliver the package. Okay. Uh, 
we're not a riff rip off of Amazon but just watch out for Jeff Bezos minions they may or may not try to shoot you down all right oh man one at a time let's do number one Nice little drone. There's also a charging station there. There's a map. Are you serious? Those are his minions? The last one is never truly the last, said a great philosopher. I, I'd believe it. Wait, we gotta charge first. Okay, let's go. I sure lose my charging pretty fast. Man, the minions are brutal. Shooting me as a drone. <laughs> nice logo. Okay. We'll just play a level or two and then call it a day. delivery theme implemented here. I've been waiting for a drone delivery. Uh -oh. Yeah, pretty straightforward. I think I saw a bunch of these where it's like you have to try to deliver it somewhere on the map and then you have the little arrow telling you which way to go. So I think that was a fairly common um, like game, game design, but still there's multiple ways to implement it. Very cool. Yeah, the Kenny sprites. Not an Amazon ripoff. Definitely not. The logo is totally original. All right, guys. Thanks for joining today. Had a nice, chill Friday playing these games. I'm glad I got to play through some of them. Hopefully, I'll have time on the weekend to rate some more. Well, I got to put in my ratings now. But hopefully, I'll play some more on the weekend just by myself. Definitely a lot of cool ones in here. Uh, very common today. It's kind of interesting to see what people prioritize when the ideas themselves are sort of similar. Yeah, delivery, pretty broad theme. Not as many pizza games as I thought, which is good. Good or bad? We all like a good pizza game. But yeah. Thanks everyone for joining. I'll see you on the Discord if you're around. I'm going to work on my game this evening, so I'll be there. And I hope you have a good weekend. Oh yeah, my mind didn't go to pizza. I really expected there to be a lot more pizza games. My cat's like digging through all these boxes at the back. Alright, see you. Catch you later.